Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to this full video, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the top of the Bollinger Band. And basically last time we did that was back over here. That was in the beginning of November. And also here, that was the end of September. And in both cases, we just fell apart. So if history is to be uh, is to 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 be a guide here, then this should be easily we uh, fairly where this stops. So last time we were here roughly five days and then it fell apart. Here we were around four to three days and then fell apart. So we have the top of the Bollinger Band and also we have the 50 moving average right here. So if this, in, this isn't uh, resistant enough, then the 50 moving average will definitely be resistant enough. So there were a few things. For example, this was uh, the lowest um, the US dollar index had been for roughly two years, since 2018. And uh, it was on the edge of being oversold. And it basically needed a rally. And we got a very substantial rally here. I did not expect it to rally this much today, but it did. Um, so as a technical um, uh, standpoint, this was kind of expected. So when you when you have these kinds of, 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 of breakdowns and it just continues breaking down, breaking down, then you kind of get lost that it will at some point start rallying. So that is that is uh, that is very normal and uh, and it's uh, it's irritating because you think okay it can't go higher than this and then it goes higher than that. But um, at this point, I think that this is going to be the top. And we can see it basically in the past as well. When we have gotten to these points of the top of the Bollinger Band, it tends to break down. It can take to a few days in order to do so, but usually it does break down. And as we have the 50 moving average just above, it is very likely that we'll turn around here and head back at least to the middle of the Bollinger Band at the 89. Or 90 and then head towards the bottom of roughly 89.25 so yes if you look at oil for example we can see that we have started this decline that i talked about yesterday and we are most likely going to head towards the middle of the bullish band which is roughly at 50 at this point and that would make a whole lot of sense and uh, these pullbacks are basically buying opportunities uh, we are an uptrend uh, for whatever reason. We are an uptrend. Um, it is not due to demand in the economy. Um, it is probably more due to speculation, but you could uh, focus on the fundamentals of the world economy or you can just trade this. And um, trading against um, against a trend is probably the worst idea you can do. So trading with the trend here, is the best idea and that it means that pullbacks towards the 20 exponential with a stop loss underneath there and a target of roughly 53.8 that is going to be the plan so let's look at natural gas so usually you will see the opposite when oil falls uh, then you see natural gas rally uh, and we also saw that today uh, we are still stuck here at the, uh, between the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. And uh, as long as we don't break above here, uh, we are going to fall. So this is just a continuation of this move here to the downside. Uh, we have fallen, rally, fallen, rally, and now we are rallying again. And we are about to fall back towards the 200 moving average. And after that, if we that breaks, we'll head down to 2 dollars for for natural gas uh, 50 moving average is significant uh, resistant here it just won't 
start trading above it. If we do start trading above it, then we could see this move in a different direction. But there has been no point here where we have been trading above the W50 moving average. So I am definitely a seller in this market at this point and not a buyer. So let's look at copper. So copper is starting to look really interesting. The 20 exponential moving average, which we are testing right at this point, is uh, has been significant support for a very long time. And yes, um, as soon as the US dollar starts depreciating again, this will basically skyrocket to the, to the upside. So if you manage to break down from here, then it opens the door to 3.4 and the 50 moving average. And we haven't test, tested them. Um, 50 moving average since back here. So this was all the way down to 303, where I basically said it can possibly go higher from here. And we rallied all the way to 3.7. So uh, my bad, to be fairly honest. I should just have bought it here and hold it. It will be an enormously good trade. So, but at this point, 15 to 20 exponential, that is basically the bottom of this market. So if you pay attention to the US dollar index, if that starts appreciating, the depreciating, then this should go all the way to the top of the bullish band at roughly 3.7. So let's look at gold. So gold has really tumbled today. We are trading underneath the 200 moving average at, uh, at uh, 18, uh, 26, 25. So it continues to fall. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are looking very bearish at this point, but we have been here before. We were here and rallied all the way to the to 1957. It is not expected for this to fall apart. There's a lot of reason for, for this to rally, especially because um, additional stimulus and so on. So. I am still bullish in this market. We may see this uh, fall at this current stage, but I'm still bullish in this uh, market. Technical indicators are all looking very bearish, so we'll see. As soon as the US dollar starts depreciating again, uh, this will most likely continue to the upside. The target is roughly uh, 1950 first and then to 2000. So let's look at silver. So silver has also fallen we're or broken down below the 50 moving average technical indicators are looking very uh, very bearish at this point but i if this holds then it's very likely that we'll turn around here and head back to the highs of 27.87 um uh, if we start trading underneath the 50 moving average that could open the door to these previous lows and also the 200 moving average so let's look at platinum So as you can see, we have fallen quite significantly uh, towards the uh, towards the um, uh, twenty exponential moving average, which was uh, expected. Um, we got kind of way up ahead of ourselves, and um, at this point, we are trading above the twenty exponential, and um, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not how far we'll fall. If we find uh, stabilization, if it stabilizes here and trends back up. Then that is a trade uh, um, which will target these highs of 11.29. But at this mo moment, technical indicators are turning around, so we'll probably see this fall even further in a Monday session. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has rallied towards the top of the Bullinger Band and then broke down significantly. So it's just more of the same. We are trading in uh in in this uh, area here we have the highs of roughly um 2.495 and the lows here at the 200 moving average of roughly 2.175 at this current stage we're just basically right in the middle so at the closer that we get to the top that is basically your selling opportunity the closer we get to the bottom that's your buying opportunity we have seen that time and time again and also the Bollinger Bands offer quite a lot of resistance and support when we get to those levels. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, bell button to see your newest videos. You're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and good weekend.